I get that a lot because patients always ask me like which treatment should I get. I think unfortunately a lot of the patients have multiple choices. In fact, I always kind of you know, tell patients that you have, have good news and bad news. The good news is they have a lot of different options. The bad news is to sort of pick which one. But I think that for most patients, both surgery and radiation therapy are good options with very high chance for cure and low risk of side effects. But there are definitely some patients who are more, I think, um, likely going to benefit from radiation therapy. Probably the ones are going to be the ones who have more medical problems. So patients who have a heart disease or may have more risk of anesthesia or the surgery itself. Uh, some other patients who might benefit from radiation therapy are the ones who have very aggressive disease that they may need some radiation therapy anyway if they got surgery. So I'm not completely sure, although this is controversial, whether radiation therapy by itself is, you know, worse than radiation therapy plus surgery. I think that we sort of kind of get into this sort of an era of we, we start talking about multimodality therapy, where you may need surgery followed by radiation to get the best cure rate. I'm not completely sure you need that surgery. Maybe radiation therapy by itself might be fine. So I think in the end, in some patients, radiation might be better to cover the area outside the prostate without needing surgery. And I think in some patients, I think you know, there are some side effects they want to avoid. So I think as Dr. You know, or my colleague sort of mentioned, um, urinary incontinence is a risk factor with uh, in, uh, surgery. And with radiation therapy, it's actually not. I know that people sort of say that radiation can cause incontinence too. But with modern, I think radiation therapy is very uncommon. In my experience, it's, uh, my sort of practice is less than 1%, which means that incontinence is not really an issue with radiation therapy. It's more of an issue with surgery. So if that's the side effect they're most wanting to avoid, then radiation therapy would be better than surgery.